Well, when we all go boating, obviously there's one thing not on our minds, and that's trailers. You've got to get the boat from A to B if you want to go wakeboarding in point A or point B. With me is Andrew from Easy Tow, who's going to talk us through some of the finer points of trailers. Andrew, welcome to the show. Thanks, mate. Nice to be here. It's great to have you here. Now, first of all, there is uh, the obvious difference. What's the difference between, say, a, uh, a ski boat trailer, wake boat trailer, or a fishing trailer? Righty, hey, well, most, mostly with the fishing boat and sports boat trailers is that they're, they're more of a roller trailer. Uh, your ski boat trailers are supported with more carpeted skids, what we call bearers, but when you get into the fishing boat stuff, um, it's generally more harsh ramp uh, conditions. Uh, you've got a lot of cross current, a lot of swell, uh, so you need more rollers on the trailer to help get your boat on the actual trailer. Now, when we get into the ski side of, of, the, of the game, uh, we've got tracking fins under the boat, so the keel rollers aren't an option, and we run some carpeted bearers in specific spots along the hull to give you the most support. Now, Andrew, one of the finer points about a trailer is obviously the wheel bearings, and uh, for those of you who might know Scotty Broom, I've actually seen him change a wheel bearing or two in his time. He's not too bad at it, but uh, it's a very key point in the, in the trailer system, isn't it? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, the bearings in the trailer probably do the more work um, out of anything on the trailer. Uh, they're doing a huge amount of revolutions every time you're out, out on the road. Um, often you see people broken down on the side of the road with, with wheel and wheel bearing problems. Now it's important you use a, a good quality Japanese bearing and a good quality two-part marine seal. Um, the marine seal actually allows a little bit of expansion out the back with, with minimal expansion, but should stop all water or most water entering through into the hub. Now, Andrew, those people who live near salt water, would they have to check it more often, maybe? Yeah, look, it's, it's good practice. Um, the reality is salt is a very, very destructive thing, whether it be on, on the frame, but especially in the, in the, in the bearings. If you, if you do get some water into your, into your hubs, um, the salt water will destroy, them, destroy the bearings very quickly. Okay. So I would recommend basically every six months, uh, check your wheel bearings for, for tightness and any noise, and every 12 months, get them repacked with good quality bearings and good quality grease. If, so, if you can't do it yourself, take it to your bloke, local boat dealer to get them to do it for you. That would absolutely save you a lot of time on the side of the road. Absolutely. What people don't realise is that if you, if you do a bearing, more often than not you actually damage the stub on the end of the axle and you're not just up for a new hub, you're up for a whole new axle, freighting the state or wherever you might be, it's very expensive. Now Andrew, we all know cars have brakes, but uh, trailers, they've got brakes too. Can you talk us through some of the brake systems on the trailers? Yeah, no worries. Um, in Australia, anything over 750 kilos with a carrying capacity uh, has to have brakes fitted by law. Now, most trailer manufacturers uh, run a, a, me a mechanical caliper, yep. um, anything up to two, two tonne. This is a galvanised mechanical caliper. Um, it's a pretty agricultural sort of a setup, but it does the job and, and it's really uh, handy in salt water. It's a pretty basic setup, which means it's, it's pretty hard to stuff up. Now, anything over two tonne in Australia needs an independent braking system uh, applied to the trailer and all four wheels, or actually all axles in the trailer need to be broken. I would recommend a good quality stainless steel caliper. There are Dacrament calipers on the market. Uh, they're pretty good for fresh water use, but if, you, if you're gonna be using it in salt water, definitely go with a stainless caliper. Um, they need to be applied to all the wheels on the trailer, and it has to have an independent braking system that can lock your wheels up for a minimum of 15 minutes should the trailer become detached from the car. Oh, okay, great. Now, Andrew, uh, winching, in wakeboarding means just a little bit different to uh, winching in trailers. Now, I understand it's a, it's a safe thing on a trailer and it's all about maintenance and uh, looking after your trailer. Can you talk us through some of the, the key points of safety on a trailer as well as uh, maintenance? Yeah. With the winch, uh, one of the most uh, important things is to, to generally check your winch, make sure there's no fraying in the strap um, and make sure that it doesn't look like there's any chance of breaking. Uh, when, you, when you're traveling with the boat, on the, on the actual trailer secured by the winch. Just make sure you actually back off the, uh, the reverse latch just slightly so there's not a huge amount of pressure on that latch all the time. Um, the winch shouldn't be used as an anchor point so you should make sure your, your boat's securely tied down to the trailer, both at the front and at the rear. All right, so Andrew, I think this thing's pretty stable. Uh, what sort of boat do you reckon we can get on here? Maybe a 28 foot cruiser or something? No, not no. at all. <laughs> this, uh, this trailer is rated to carry about uh, 1950 kilos. Okay. Um, and carrying capacity is one of the most important things. Um, the trailers are designed around a, a carrying capacity. Uh, everything from the, the wheels to the tyres to the springs to the axles all relate to that, that gross carrying capacity. Um, it's very important when you buy a new boat or a new trailer to discuss it with your dealer 
um, on, on what you are doing. If you're going to load your, your boat up with camping gear, opt for something with a bit better carrying capacity. You have less, less issues in the long run and it will save you a lot of money in the long run. Well, I think we've got it covered here, Andrew. We've got uh, regular service on our trailers, yep. uh, reputable brands, so we've got good quality parts there, and uh, also the right size trailer for the right size boat. Absolutely, if you follow those steps, you can't go wrong. Makes perfect sense. Thanks for uh, coming on the show, really appreciate it. No worries, thanks for having me.